I'm back. And it's good to be back. If we think of success in poker, the first thing that comes into mind is becoming one of the best players. But I now think that this is just us trying to reach the top of the lowest step in the industry. That there are higher levels of success, such as owning a casino, running a poker client, or just having a club on Poker Bros. However, even if you're aware of that, it's so tough to walk away from playing poker, especially if it provides the highest hourly income. Additionally, we built up this skill set over the years to make these flossy decisions to beat the games, and it feels like we just need to improve just a little bit to play higher and to make more money. And starting a business, on the other hand, feels risky. Ironically, we don't know when we are going to make money or if we will make any money at all by doing so. The highest chance of a successful transition from a career as a professional poker player to entrepreneurship is therefore to take the hard skill poker and make a business out of it. This could mean offering coachings, building a community, selling courses, and to make all that work, maybe start a YouTube channel to build the top of the funnel. However, I think this transition makes only sense if the person who creates these courses who coaches students, continues to play and study himself in order to maintain his expertise to actually be able to help out his students. And honestly, I don't want to create a system that is only valuable if I keep playing myself. The introduction of higher and higher rake on certain clients and the eye leaving the early adapters phase reaching mass market are also not good signs that building a business around online poker makes a ton of sense in a few years from now. For some, the daily grind of poker is a source of joy and their drive leads them to success. I really love the strategic aspect of the game, but not so much the playing part. Even though the game is very complex and I usually like that, there's something missing. And I like to compare this to the car industry where a guy like Lewis Hamilton or whoever is number one at Formula One right now is on top of one step. but. The highest step is probably not becoming the best driver, it's more like the guy who builds cars. And I wouldn't be shocked if those guys, race car drivers, sometimes ask themselves as well, like, all I do is driving circles. Maybe there's something more out there, right? So I think it's essential to recognize that there may be higher levels of achievement outside my immediate passion, which is poker. As someone with two years of full-time e-commerce experience, I build a jewelry brand to roughly 100k in revenue, which is nothing in that space, I can still say that running a business is more diverse. It just offers a range of experiences and a better opportunity to grow. But I failed. So I restarted my poker career because, well, that's what I'm good at and I needed to make money. The potentially high hourly rates in poker are quite appealing, but they come with a drawback. Trading time for money. No matter how good the hourly is, it's not really a sign of wealth. The potential of exponential growth in business, however, seems quite appealing. And you could argue, well, in poker this is true as well, because higher stakes means more money. The problem is this exponential curve is kind of limited because the higher you play, the better your opponents. Speaking of high stakes poker, not only the limited exponential growth of your win rate is a problem, but the stressful experience that comes with it. Even on mid-stakes, a life has to be centered around playing poker. You need to make sure to be completely focused every time you play. Otherwise, you're probably just not beating the games. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, this all sounds great. You're right. Starting a business is probably better than playing cards. Okay, but I need to make money and I have no idea if I can start a business and will it be ever profitable and it's probably super expensive to even start out like and maybe I don't have the skills to do so and those are all the thoughts that I have right now <laughs> and it's scary it's super scary but I thought to myself what is the alternative I will probably play poker in 20 years from now if I don't actively make the decision of developing new skills that allow me to start a successful business and that could mean that I will fail again and maybe in two years or whatever I will make a video talking about how my business failed but I still have this amazing stepping stone that's how I see poker which is going from zero dollars to four figures a month being able to play whenever and wherever you want 
And I don't think there is any other thing that you can do that easily by simply educating yourself, not having to invest anything, grinding yourself from the lowest stakes, in my case it was free rolls because I was not able to cash in, to six figures. It's possible, but that doesn't mean I should do this for the rest of my life. So this also means that this channel will be transformed into me sharing my learnings while exploring the entrepreneurial space. That probably means you will not see any book content from me anymore. Not on this channel, not elsewhere, and even the Discord community will be probably transformed into a space for solopreneurs with different channels to work on certain skill sets that are needed in order to make it. I'm quite certain that this is the right decision and I'm confident in myself and I'm ready to take the risk.